Good morning and welcome to a special song service on this Thursday. Today, as we celebrate Holy Week, we look at the Last Supper and the conversation that Jesus and his disciples had around the table. We begin in Luke 22. Peter and John were sent to Jerusalem. They were told to find a man carrying a pitcher of water. They were told to follow him and ask the owner of the house he entered, where's the guest room that I can eat the Passover meal with my disciples? Jesus said, he will take you upstairs to a large room that is already set up. That is where you should go prepare our meal. They hastily prepared for the meal, but one important job was forgotten. John forgot to arrange for a servant to be present to wash the dust, dirt, and mud from the feet of Christ and his disciples. Tradition tells us that John was the youngest of the disciples, which meant the job of foot washing belonged to him. When they realized that there was no one to wash their feet, a rumble of conversation must have been accompanied by frantic gesticulation around the table. They all glared at John and motioned for him to wash their feet. John 13, 3 tells us that Jesus knew that the Father had given him authority over everything and that he had come from God and would return to God. And verse 4 begins with a conjunction. So he got up from the table, took off his robe, wrapped a towel around his waist, and poured water into a basin. Then he began to wash the disciples' feet, drying them with the towel he had around him. We begin by singing number 406, Love Consecrates the Humblest Act. <laughs> celebrate communion, we often read a passage from 1 Corinthians 11. On the night when he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it in pieces and said, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup of wine after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant between God and his people an agreement confirmed with my blood. Do this in remembrance of me as often as you drink it. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes again. We sing by Christ Redeemed to the tune Anticipation by my friend and mentor Bruce Ashton. It's number 402, By Christ Redeemed. Christ redeemed in Christ redeemed. 
13 contains the Last Supper, but Jesus doesn't enter the Mount of Olives until chapter 18. The four chapters in between are full of hope and comfort that his disciples would need in the upcoming hours. But Jesus also gave them instructions. This is my commandment. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you slaves, because a master doesn't confide in his slaves. Now you are my friends, since I have told you everything the Father told me. You didn't choose me. I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask for using my name. This is my command. Love each other. Let's sing those words, number 352, This Is My Will. Should dwell in each inner. 
tells us that then they sang a hymn and went out to the Mount of Olives. Jesus took Peter, James, and John farther in and said, My soul is crushed with grief to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Three times Christ went further on to pray for the cup of suffering to be taken away. Each time he added, Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Three times Christ came back to find his closest friends asleep. Finally, he said, the time has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners.